The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Speaking of partisanship, Mr. Speaker, yesterday the Minister of Housing unleashed a vicious attack on himself. <laughs> he said the Liberal government is uh, presiding over what he called a generational moral failure because so many people cannot find a place to live. A record number of 30 different homeless encampments in Halifax alone, his home province, after his Prime Minister doubled housing costs. Given that they admit they've caused this moral failure, will they reverse the policies that caused it and start building homes instead of bureaucracy? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to remind my colleague that on this side of the House, we support and work with the mayors in Quebec and the municipalities. On this side of the House, unlike he when he was Minister uh, of Housing, we're building actual housing units and we're working with Canadians to put roofs over their heads. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the Housing Minister was warned that his policies would cause a massive shortage, is in hot water again because he admitted to the Finance Committee that his $4 billion housing accelerator fund doesn't actually build any houses. Zero houses, zero apartments built, and he even admitted that it wouldn't lead to future construction. So will he follow my plan, my common sense plan, which will encourage the municipalities to create more housing units? Honorable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, the housing crisis requires a cooperative approach. What is the opposition leader's approach? He insults mayors in Quebec, in Quebec City, in Montreal, and all across Canada. Change in a serious housing policy, Mr. Speaker. The accelerator fund, which he points to, is incenting change at the zoning level municipally. That is critical if we are going to see more supply. It's absolutely vital that we see more supply because that's what underpins the housing crisis in front of us. He is not serious. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition together with municipal politicians to block housing. Right. In fact, this housing minister, who when he was immigration minister, was warned his policies would lead to a massive so shortage, and yet it went ahead with them anyway, yep. made some incredible admissions yesterday at Finance Committee. He said, one, that his $4 billion accelerator fund has not completed any homes, and two, quote, it doesn't actually lead to the construction of specific homes. Why doesn't he instead follow my common sense plan to link municipal funding to housing construction so we can build homes and not bureaucracy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shame, Mr. Speaker, he should follow the proceedings of the Finance Committee more closely because just a few months ago, officials there testified that his private member's bill, so called, meant to build more housing, does exactly the opposite. He wants to tax home builders, Mr. Speaker. He wants to cut infrastructure that communities would require for housing purposes. His best idea, it would seem, to build more homes is to create some sort of 1 800 number where neighbors can rat on each other if they have concerns around NIMBY. It's not a serious approach, Mr. Speaker. He's never been serious about housing. He's playing games.